This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a, a patient who has a very important question. They had noticed that at ASH there were two major and very different approaches to the management of patients with high-risk smoldering myeloma. One was a very intensive approach uh, from the Spanish team, and the second was a more gentle approach uh, using daratumumab alone uh, in the Centaurus trial. And so the question is, uh, how come and, and what are the uh, risks and benefits of, of these two very, very different kinds of approaches? And so first of all, with the Spanish trial, uh, this is called the CSER trial, this is a trial in which the patients receive the combination of carfilzomib, revlimid, and dexamethasone, plus an autologous stem cell transplant in an effort to achieve the very best response uh, in patients who have high-risk smoldering myeloma, so at this very early point of the disease. Conversely, uh, the Centaurus study is one in which the patients receive a single agent, uh, daratumumab, and in this trial there were three levels of intensity, uh, one in which they actually only, only received uh, one month of therapy, and then the other two arms where they had different dosages over a period of two to three years. And so the question is, what, what are the differences between these two types of approach? Well, with the intensive approach, the CSER trial, 62% of the patients at this point, out of the 90 patients who have been treated, have achieved very, very deep responses, 62% uh, MRD negative at the one in a million level. Conversely, in the Centaurus trial with the daratumumab, the Darzelec, the monoclonal antibody against uh, CD38, 29% of the patients have achieved only a VGPR level or better. And so there's a very major difference between the depth of the response between the two types of treatment. And so if we look at what are the expectations uh, based on what we know about myeloma and the treatment here in 2018, what we know is that if you have a deeper response, the longer term outlines, outcomes are likely to be uh, much better with that deeper response. And so looking to the future, we would expect the patients in the CSER trial uh, to be doing very much better uh, five to t 10 years from now. Conversely, the patients in the daratumumab arm, well, we know one thing already uh, in, in one of the arms where the treatment was stopped. When you stop the daratumumab, patients do relapse. And then the second thing is using a single agent, we are concerned that when the relapse does occur, there may be a resistance factor where the treatment of these patients when they do relapse could be more challenging. And so, Bottom line in this case is that the Black Swan Research Initiative team is very much in the camp of the more aggressive approach in an effort to be moving towards achieving a cure for patients with multiple myeloma. And not only that, we have another trial, the ASCENT trial, in which the daratumumab is actually combined with the Kyprolis Revlimid Indect in the ASCENT trial to really maximize this early deep response. And so we have expectations that we might have as many as 80% of the patients having this MRD negative deep response. And so the, the Black Swan Research Initiative team is very encouraged by the CSER data. And we are very encouraged that with uh, further trials, we will see these deep responses that will move us step by step towards really trying to achieve a cure for patients with myeloma.